Hey, everybody. My name's Phil Kohler. I'm being joined by Andrew Reiner. Hi, I'm amazing. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, the amazing Andrew Reiner. And uh, we're checking out Dragon Age 2. So this is this is Dragon Age 2. This is a sequel to BioWare's fantasy epic RPG from a couple years ago. Looks kind of boring. All you do is run up and down stairs. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like my childhood. That's kind of... My parents did a lot of shopping, and they just... When they go in stores, they're like, just go play on the escalators and stairs. You had a weird childhood. I met a lot of interesting people. I can imagine. Uh, so I'm playing as, uh, this is old guy Hawk. He's an old man. What? Spoiler. Um, well, I'm playing as an old man. Oh, you can pick him as old yeah, man. I mean, he you doesn't can, age. You, you do like character creation. Uh, the game supposedly takes place over 10 years. I find it weird that, let's jump into the menu a little bit here. I find it weird that, you know, if you're playing as old guy Hawk, uh... You know, by the time by the time it's ten years from now, this dude's gonna be dead. He looks like George R. R. Martin, a little bit, but in better shape. A little bit. Uh, so this guy is a, a mage. Um, I'll, I'll show off some of his abilities a little bit later. We've also got Carver, who's a uh, Hawk's brother in the game, and this actually in the intro sequence, you have a brother and a sister. One of them gets killed based off of what class you choose. So since I chose mage, uh, they kept uh, they kept. Carver, who's a warrior alive. Um, your sister hmm. is a mage. Yeah, when I picked algebra over geometry, they said if I picked geometry, my sister would have died. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, phew, good. Yeah, she that's how alive. that's how that works. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna level up a little bit here. So old man Hawk, Bioware always does choice in their games. What if they implemented a thing where if you selected old man Hawk, you couldn't actually finish the game. He'd just like have a heart attack on the field. I mean, I think that's probably the right way to do it. Like, as you were running up those stairs, you could have just died. That'd be cool. I think so, too. It'd piss a lot of people off, but... But it would be cool. Yeah, it'd be amazing. So this is the new uh, the new level up screen. As you can see, we can choose between several different trees. There's two-handed weapons, uh, Vanguard, Defender, Warmonger, and Battlemaster. These are, these are a couple of the warrior trees. Um, we have a go. lot of space on the screen to fill. Let me go here with, uh, actually, Defender, I think is okay. what I'm going to choose. And, uh... Storm Cloud? What? Let's do Stone shoot Lightning? What is that? So, lot, lots of abilities there, obviously. And then, uh, obviously, mages have their own little tree. Uh, the other person in my party, this is, uh, Aveline. So, she, we met her in the intro sequence. She's uh, very mannish. Whoa, that's mean. Come on. She's well, listening. Look at her. You made her sad. The, All right. truth, the truth, truth might hurts. hurt, but you want to hear it. Yeah, that's true. All right, so, story. We are, uh, we're in Kirkwall, which is the main city where the game takes place. <laughs> Those are some nice statues of people, like... They're crying. What, was there, like, a volcano around here? I don't know. I don't that's know what, what you're the supposed story to do, is. Right? is. Is cover your head? I'm, I'm sure that there are probably, uh... There's probably lots of books that you can read in the city to find out the story. But for now, we need to get into the city. There are a lot of refugees trying to uh, trying to get in. So we need to talk to this dude and figure out how to get into the city. All right. You again. Still too good to work for the Red Iron. Investigate. I'd like to know more about you first. It doesn't sound like an old man. Right. No. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for. It's basically, I think what's happening here is screws with us, we mess them up. We're going to be able to get into the city, but we have to work for these mercenaries if we want to do it. Makes sense. All I know is if we join the I don't agree with her. I don't understand like why we just don't kill these guys and go inside. Nope. I'll do whatever I'm you need. Ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. I wouldn't enlist the help of this old man. <laughs> yeah. Now he's hiding out Seems like a weird choice. Hey, you got Shinobi guy in the back. I'd take him. <laughs> and how come I don't have one of those cool, yeah. like, ninja masks? Well, That's you what should I want. to hide your horrible, ugly <laughs> old face. It's disgusting looking. All right, so apparently I'm running a job for him. I wasn't really paying attention, but as you can see, where I need to go is right there on the map. Pretty easily laid out. So those cutscenes are more like Mass cool Effect now. Here. Very much so. Very cinematic. And you got Fluid. the whole, like, you've got the dialogue wheel instead of a, just choosing from a list. What will we do when the ship comes? 
wait. Who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. Those guys are awesome Should too. I just kill him? Well, of course. I mean, we could talk. You got to see what this old man's capable of. Bam. Sorry, but you brought <laughs> Sorry. this on yourself. You're a nice Neither old man. You. Yeah. Don't just stand there. So I haven't played much as a mage. So this is going to be interesting, but uh, we're going to make it happen. All right. Cool. Nice. This guy has a lot of health. We're draining it pretty fast. And as you can see, fire. clearly the uh, combat is much more action-y than it was last time. Even as a mage, I'm just getting in here and slashing away. I think my brother here is about to die. So now we should point out we're playing this on the PlayStation 3. To, yeah, we are. Uh, slight differences on the PC version, correct? In how it controls and so and the all PC that stuff? version, from my understanding, uh, only uses mouse and keyboard and. You know, with the first game, that wasn't a big deal, but with this one, I think that's maybe not the right choice. Because they have definitely... Whoa, I'm about to die. And the first game was designed for PC, and then it was ported oh, to console. This is not good. This is not going well. You better resurrect him. Apparently talking while, while playing this game is not... Wow, she kicks ass. I do normally play as a... Uh, as a as a warrior, so that may have been part of my mistake. But we also leveled up. But what do you expect from the old guy? Let's just do here uh, auto level so that I don't have to spend any more time in menus. So what did you think of the first game? Uh, first Dragon Age, I liked it a lot. Um, it it had problems. But I mostly, I mostly enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought it was a good start to the series. And, exactly. And uh, I kind of agreed with everything that they did for the sequel, like making it more like Mass Effect in terms mm -hmm. of how uh, the conversations work, the cutscenes are, and how it's more of like a persistent tale well. focused on one character. One character, yeah. I like that they, they took that time to like set up this universe, and they have some really interesting parts about the Dragon Age universe that kind of set it apart from other fantasy universes. I love this guy. And they really needed that time to build on Welcome it. Correct. Um, but now we're, uh, we're I think we're going to get into the city now and maybe skip ahead a little bit. Okay. So we're going to see that they do these uh, these time, time skips. Let's see, this is my uncle here. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Mirren and, and that's see My uncle mom. has some weird hair color going on there. There's He's a very gray up top, but his beard is we very brown. Stay, yeah. You think while. he was just like rolling around in mud or something? Look mud at this. mask, maybe? Uh, we'll see what happens yeah. This death probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. That's why he keeps a good complexion. Bethany were hit with us. I, I think you could do that, Reiner. You could have a different color beard than your hair. I think I think you could pull that off. Maybe happens. like red? Mm -hmm. have a long Fire year engine red? Us. Yeah, that's Pretty a great idea. Sweet. All right, so time's passing now. Yeah, now that's I what think, this is showing me. I think we're gonna skip ahead a year. Let's see what happens. Got here. really Peter Plus Jackson the there for a second. Just kind of showing a building for like Word five minutes. From across the sea, that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the. Fifteen Black bucks. Hill. Yep. But this is your profile. But Lothering was destroyed. Now they're basically telling us that uh, about the stuff that happened in Dragon Age itself. So he made. This game begins during the events of the first Dragon Age. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, but now we're pushing past that. It was a busy year in the city. <laughs> That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught okay. their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the so city. So is this how all Waiting the kind of story breaks on. are told? Yeah, For, so like, there's actually this... Progressing time? There's this narrator the who's, uh, who's kind of telling the story of Hawk to another person. Powerful. Uh, so you're going to get these Merida. these points where it's but the narrator talking, kind of framing the narrative. <laughs> At the champion. Does the game start with him like reading a storybook? Nope. That's he's good. A, actually. He's kind of being interrogated, so. Oh. There's some swear words that are used early on. It's interesting loading screen. Mm hmm. And Best loading screens in the business. Oh, I thought that'd be the end of it. <laughs> I was like, they figured it out perfectly, like the timing. Nope. How many times is this going to fill up? I vote 10. Wow. And this was installed on the PS3, correct? I think so. Whoa, okay. Two and maybe like 0.5%. Yeah. Now, I really like the architecture of this city. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, 
of the architecture from that from Final Fantasy XII. Do you remember has, that game? Yeah, that guy has different colored hair too. Sorry, that's kind of driving me nuts. It's the hair. That's that's yeah. all you care about in this game. No, Andraste's tits, human. Whoa. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Final Fantasy X. Look, that 12. Was, or 12, we okay. Going into the deep sort of that deserty, like, the best, and we are no. almost like Middle Eastern vibe going on. Done. It kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings, but everything reminds everything. me of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I've noticed that. You, you say that us. a lot of times when we're just grabbing lunch. When I showed you baseball? Yeah. I compared it to Lord of the Rings. That was weird. I don't care if you tore the horns off an old how do you do that with your facial hair? You that takes some time, man. Do you think that hurt? From your I have a feeling you're playing this game for the wrong reasons, Ryder. <laughs> you want to dig in and figure out I'm what's going on with the facial hair. What, I say. what if that's the big plot point right, at the end? Brother. Yeah. It's like brother Dragonborn kind of fooled, thing. Yeah. Right about this. Uh, as you can we see, I, I pretty much instantly choose the jerk option every time that I have a chance to, uh, to pick something in dialogue. Do you usually play as a bad guy? Uh, in the Mass Effect series I did, and wow. I feel like I might do, go that way again with Dragon Age 2. I'm not, I haven't decided for sure, but for this playthrough, I'm being a jerk. Fable, I'm usually straight evil. Mm -hmm. Mass Effect, I was all over the place. Really? Yeah, like, I got really into that story, and I was like, really thought about the decisions in those. And yet you weren't able to save your crew. And I was. You saved your whole crew? But you had, like, a strategy guide by nope. the time that happened. I played it no, before the I game was out. No, I played it before out. the game was out, too. No, you did not. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I will show you the date on that achievement. How's that for a compliment? Whoa, what's that guy want in the background? He was waving someone over. Mm -hmm. We're losing ground. No, he's, he's, he's not talking to anyone. <laughs> he's just crazy. <laughs> crazy dwarf. Whoa. Watch where you're going, old man. That's how you do that. Yep. So this is Varric. This is actually the narrator who's being interrogated. Oh. But this is the first run in Hawk has with him, and he has an awesome crossbow gun thing. You don't have the style to work high town, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. That was a hell of a shot. Yeah. It's like Green Arrow. Service. So can you just kill your old man and play as that guy? Uh, I can probably just focus on playing as that guy. I think he's gonna he's gonna be a member of my party. So he's pretty awesome. And, and like the original, you can switch between any party member. So you can kind of choose who you want to be. And his fa his chest hair is so low. Look look how low cut his shirt is to show off his chest hair. Yes. So this guy, Varric, his brother is a dwarf who's uh, leading an expedition into the Deep Roads, which you will remember as the uh, the bad place from the first game where all the dark spawn come from. Mm -hmm. Now, Hawk wants to be in on that expedition for some reason. Are you just not telling us the reason because it's a spoiler? Or are you, I actually don't. I'm not entirely certain I understand what his reasoning is, but he okay. wants to be in on it. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be... And now, like in Mass Effect, like you said, you pick the old man. You can kind of change his face to whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But you're always Hawk. You can't play as different species or... You're always going to be... Yeah, you're always going to be human. Hawk's always human, I think. You can you can do male or female, like in Mass Effect, but you're you're going to be stuck as a human. We work together, you and I. They got rid of that that aspect of the uh, the first one. If this is a trick, you'll pay for it. Dwarf. So, Varric's going to help us get in on the expedition, but we need to do some uh, tasks around the city to gain money, basically. Okay. So we're going to... I'm going to explore the city a little. We're going to find some side quests. See what happens. This is a really dude-heavy lineup that we have here. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of because I was a mage. Your sister... If your sister, if you choose warrior, like I said, your sister stays alive. Um, you get some other, you get some females later on. Well, you had that one female that looked like a dude. Aveline, yeah, I think she's around too. Let's see here. Let's level this guy up. Oh, interesting. I want to see this. Whoa, what happened? Did you just auto level? I auto leveled. What? Here's the uh, the trees for the rogue. What's the the skull on the rogue one? What's that? What's that skull on the on first base, I'll call it? 
Go back. I don't know what you're talking Go about. Go read right, one more back. One more. Right there. What's that skull with the the arrow on the head? Oh. Archer's lance. Huh. That sounds pretty cool. You should get that. So what I like about the leveling up system in this one is that all the skills... In the first one, the skills kind of blended together. They didn't really feel unique. But in this one, all the skills are pretty awesome and unique. Interesting. So it's worth playing through multiple times yeah, to see I don't, all the characters. Yeah, and I don't feel like I don't feel like you're gonna you're gonna feel like you wasted uh, wasted your time if you choose something. Ah, long time no see, my What's this guy want me to do? Worthy, not nearly long enough, I think. <laughs> Still have that chip on your shoulder, I see. So yeah, you've been around you've been around in the city for a while now, so the people already kind of know you. And is that because you're the older character, or is that just in general? Uh, no, just because, like, you came to the city and then skipped ahead, like, a year, so gotcha. now... Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Now you're, like, an established name around the city. You need some runecrafting done, I can arrange it for you. What's that behind him? Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. I don't know. It's a weird piece of meat. Oh, that's just a crafting thing? What is that? It's like a dead baby. There is between you two. Gross! You do some weird things in crafting. Also, I didn't actually craft anything there, but I got a trophy, so there's a uh, a tip. Yeah, pro tip. Let's see here. What else is going on in this part of the city? I do like how bright the world is so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much more colorful. And the graphics are definitely a step up. Wow. Much more colorful than the first one. Lots less uh, browns. Now, how does the... Do you know how the save functionality works from the first game? Uh, so you pull over your save, and from my understanding, you know, I haven't played through it all the way, but I talked to Joe a little bit, who did the review for us, and it sounds like most of the information they're pulling in from the first game, it just changes, like, some minor dialogue options along the way. Like, you're not going to have... As far as I know, you're not going to be, like, running into your hero from the first game or anything like that. So... If you can play it on the same system, but if you played the first one on PC but want to play yeah. the sequel on 360, you're not going to be missing yeah, it sounds a like, ton. Yeah, it sounds like you won't be missing a ton, and it sounds like like you probably want to go with console with this this one, even if you played the first one on PC. Let's see here. Oh, there's, there's, there is our friend. Is that that chick again? The sword is the the shield rather is a uh, pretty Hulk. nice and detailed there. Yeah. Nice to see I missed. I don't think she's that bad what? looking. Oh right. Sorry. But maybe I just I like, like girls just who look like dudes. I've been keeping <laughs> you. I don't know we what I just said. <laughs> yeah. We uh, <laughs> this never nothing, never mind. All right. I'm a Ferelden and we'll Just leave it at that Phil and uh, let our readers just talk about it in the comments. It's gonna be, there's gonna be some interesting comments in this video. It's cool armor too, like the dragon head or whatever that is. Yeah, just in general, I feel like, oof, I feel like this stuff is a lot, uh, the, the items that people are wearing are a lot more detailed than they were in the first game and much more unique looking. That was one of my problems with the first game, is the gear wasn't very interesting. It got kind of boring. Yeah, if you cut her hair, she looks like a Wesley brother from uh, Harry Potter. All right, Aveline. I could see that. You have so you would find doing. them attractive then. My I don't want to talk about yeah, this well, anymore. So the armor. Big uh, nice armor. Cool boots. Great. Dangerous boots. Yeah. yeah. Probably don't want to sit cross-legged with those. <laughs> I can't find any shipments that match up. <laughs> see, you're always thinking ahead like that. That's why I think you could be a fashion designer. I'm putting a stop Probably. To my district or not. Everybody would look like Boba Fett, I think, by the end of the day. All right. Let's go break some necks for the greater good. Yeah. I knew I could count on you. Right. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a All right, short we're gonna, side. We're gonna head out and do I that. You can't run off and can a mage make me. that claim? Let's go break you, some necks? Or is it there. like I mean you saw he was doing some pretty, go, pretty awesome like, stuff. Shock a dude or start a guy on fire. Start a guy on fire. Strangely, this is the best place in the city for working shell games and changing forged All right. coins. So we're gonna jump over to Sunder Mount here. I want to show off the map system. Yeah, they I'm do curious. Some cool the, stuff. Are there still like the random battles on it? Uh, I think so. Whoa. But what I like about this is that 
So now this is the just the city map. You can actually switch between day and night. So you're gonna have like different areas and different quests open up during the evening. Oh, interesting. And, and you get a trophy for doing that also. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And then this is the uh, the bigger sort of world map. Hmm. And we have so a. So you're a little uh, ways into this then. Yeah, this is this is about like hour and a half, two hours into the game. Okay. So we're gonna go and do this uh, this quest here. A variety of loading screens. Best loading screens in the business, like I said. <laughs> That's really what Bioware was going for with this one. Was they spent a lot make... of time on their loading screens. There might be some stragglers before okay, cool map Nothing system here. Very easy to read. Nice, some, some ruins. Oh and, man, uh, here we go. Some raiders. Turn that guy into ice. So what do you think of this combat system? Without, I mean, you know, you haven't played it, but I'm curious what you think about the well, decision played, to do more action. I played the first Dragon Age on Xbox 360. Sure. And I found during every battle, I was constantly, like, every two to three seconds, maybe even every second, switching to different characters and having them do different things. Mm -hmm. While I really appreciated that I was micromanaging every little detail in the battle, Yeah. Um. I would have liked it to have a little bit more of a kind of like KOTOR stand back and just kind of let it happen if you wanted to. And I feel like this has maybe gone a little too far in the yeah. direction of just, you know, it kind of. If someone didn't know better, they might think you're playing like Dynasty Warriors or something. But uh, I like that you're focusing on one character, I guess, to a certain degree. Oh. So. How micro can you get on this? Like, how much can you manage a fight for these other people? I mean, like... Can you still do that? Like, going like back said, and forth, back yeah, and forth? Yeah, you can switch between any character, but, you know, it's going to be hard to... Like, because the skills are all instant now, you're not really going to be able to manage every skill that they're doing. Um, Go play as the other guy. Sure, let's play as no. Warrior. Nope. This dude? Yep. Sure. I don't really know what all his skills are, but we're going to find out. That was cool. Whoa! Alright, I like this guy. Yeah, I don't... Is that like an X-Wing on the front of his bow? What is that? Like I said, it's some crazy crossbow gun. Probably not very... Like, if you're actually looking at it, probably not how you'd want a crossbow to work, but pretty know. awesome. Seems pretty effective to me. Whoa. Yeah, he has some cool skills here. Uh-oh. I'm not paying attention and my brother died. So what kind of loot are you finding? Is there a greater variety in the uh, the armor department? That was pretty light in the first game. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get rid of these guys and then look. I should actually show off the... Uh, Oh, oh. Well, whoa! Bandits, it's covered in blood. And the road is clear. Uh, it doesn't look like blood, people. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. I'm not into that. I'm just saying, enemies have accidents too. I'm not into that. <laughs> so we got some health potions. You're into chick dudes, but not into that. Not into that. So <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, here. Let's pull up the inventory. I'll show off a little bit. So we've got a belt. So you don't have a lot of stuff. Yeah, we don't have much yet. So it's pretty light again. And is it just mostly I color swaps? I mean, at swaps? this point, this is right pretty... Here it's color swaps, too. This is pretty early. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, so um, but what I think is really interesting is that basically the uh, your your party members don't have full armor sets. What's this guy's name? Carver? Yes. He Bioware always has a character that I end up hating. And I think, think this guy be might this be guy? A, Yeah, like Karth from Kotor. Well, are you doing a are you doing a mage or are you playing a warrior? I'm playing a warrior in my main playthrough. So, I'm I'm not going to have this guy alive. I don't know. I, I really got to take time and look at it. Oh, so I can have that guy die. Yeah. 
Okay, so what do I got to do? Just be a warrior? Just be a warrior. Well, so, that's but, gonna happen. But check this out. You're not you're not gonna be assigning like full armor for these guys. Uh, they basically they have they will have whole sets hmm. that are just like one thing that you get. Gotcha. So it kind of makes the armor management for your your party members much faster and much easier. Yeah, like he looks like he should be from like a Disney movie. Like really one hate of the princes this guy. in a Disney movie. Ugh. You really hate that guy. I do. Yeah, it was Karth and Kotor. Who's the guy from Mass Effect that looks like that dad? Aiden? Yeah. Yeah. Him? That guy's dumb. Ugh. I hated that guy. Yeah, this is uh this is some Dragon Age 2. What's that? No, oh, you pick still... a pick a plant here. That was a lot of text about that one little root. Yep. And I skipped all of it. Uh, you can see this guy, uh, Carver, because he died, he's he's injured now, so he has less health than normal. Oh. Whoa! And I stepped on a trap. Serves him right. Just a quick look at some of the warrior skills before we quit. Not a fan of him. Oh, this guy's from here, too. Switch to someone else. I don't. I don't you're, like him. You're not. No. You're having none of that. Sad. I got my empty stained bottle. Who's that guy in high school that everybody was friends with, but no one really liked? <laughs> I think that was me. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it. So yeah. This is Dragon Age. I think this is a pretty good look at it. It looks pretty sweet. How long are the missions usually? There's a demo out. Um, I mean, what, one of the things that I like about it is that, you know, as you saw there, I got that mission from Aveline, and then I immediately jumped into the map, and I went and did it, and it's done now. And, and it's, now you're just running around doing stuff. Yeah, I'm just, like, running around killing some people who are left on this map. But the mission, the quest itself is done, so it's, you know, it's very, like... Quick side quests, the map system tells you exactly where you need to go, and you can kind of jump in, do stuff, and get out. Yeah, I heard a lot of people complaining about the demo, but you just convinced me that I mean, this it, is a day one purchase for me. Like, know, it, this looks awesome. It's very... It's different from, from the first Dragon Age, and I think some people are going to be disappointed in that. It's much more action-y, but I think that the uh, the characters are a lot more interesting. The writing seems faster and faster paced and better. And uh, I kind of like the action-y thing. I know it's not for everyone, so... It kind of reminds me of a mix between Mass Effect and KOTOR, is what it kind of looks like. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I mean, people people have to kind of decide if if uh, if they're cool with the, the more action and the little bit a little bit less strategy. And that'll be something that's going to take me hours to figure out. To yeah. See, see if I really like it. But I think it's cool. I'm definitely I'm definitely looking forward to playing some more and I think that's what I'm going to keep doing for the rest of the day. Cool, Phil. Well, thanks for oh. this look at it. Yeah.